Wow, it is the video taking the world by storm this morning. United Airlines is under fire. Travelers are up in arms after a passenger, as you see, was dragged off of that airplane after refusing to give up his seat on an overbooked flight. The man was bloodied. He hit his chin on the chair after Chicago Department of Aviation security officers forcefully took him out of his seat. Joining us right now is the man who actually shot that shocking video. Tyler Bridges was on the flight. Tyler, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. So you were on the flight. Take us through the situation. How did this and why did this unfold? What did you see? So the, the video is kind of the climax of, of a buildup um, that led to that. Um, once we boarded the plane, we were offered vouchers. Um, United the flight attendant offered us $800 vouchers saying we needed four people to get off the flight before we could leave for Louisville. Um, and then there were no takers. Nobody wanted to, to do that deal. Um, soon after that, a manager for United came on and really in an authoritarian kind of way said, we're, this flight doesn't leave um, until four of you get off the flight. And if we, no one volunteers, we're going to pick people at random. Um, and then the man in the video is the third person they picked at random. And um, he was not willing to leave the plane. He, so, uh, so he argued with the... Go ahead. Yeah. So he, so he pushed back. He says, I don't want to uh, give up my seat. And so mm -hmm. then what happened? So he, he made the argument that he's a doctor. He, uh, he needed to see patients the next morning and was um, really getting upset that he had been singled out to be removed from the plane. Um, he argued with the United worker, and she said, I'm going to get security if you're not willing to get off. And he said, fine, get security. Um, and security came. Two officers, um, one followed by another, came to try to defuse the situation, really in a calm way, tried to uh, get the man to leave the plane. And he just wouldn't. He was not having it. He was not willing to leave. Um, so then the third officer came in. That's the one that actually you see in the video removing him. Um, and he came kind of in an aggressive way down the aisle, grabbed the man, ripped him out of his seat, um, and then ultimately drug him off the plane. Well, I mean, oftentimes they offer you money, right, Dagan, McDowell? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, did they offer him yeah. the most that they could offer him? Because you could offer up to thirteen fifty, a thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. I don't think they offered him that much. No, but no, the I, most. Go ahead, Tom. The most they offered was was eight hundred dollars. Yeah. So why, why didn't they offer him the most that they could have offered? Maybe they would have gotten some takers to give up the seat if they order, offered what they could, 1350 oh That's right. And, uh, and in fact, passengers were yelling at United to offer more money. Um, once they offered 800 and nobody would take it, they were saying, people were yelling, offer more, offer more. Um, but they, they didn't do it. All right, so Dagan, I want to get your take on this. I know that you've been looking at this story and have a real opinion on it, but I just want to read the statement because in United, it's already facing a PR mess, but here's the United statement. This is an upsetting event to all of us here at United. I apologize for having to reaccommodate these customers. Reaccommodate these customers, Dagan. <laughs> what? Who, like, who wrote this? Was it um, a cyborg with no feelings that couldn't watch that video? But Tyler, I want to ask you, because you were there, if you have to yeah. divvy up blame between the passenger and his behavior and the behavior of those United, working for United and those security officers, how do you parse that out? Um, so I would... I blame United for the situation kind of getting to where the point where the man was arguing with security. It's clearly the man's fault that security had to drag him off. He was resisting. Uh, I don't blame the security guards at all. That, the way he was resisting, that was all they could do to get him off the plane. Mm -hmm. But United really backed them into a corner and the man into another corner. Uh, when everyone boards the flight, and we're ready to push back, and uh, that's when they come on and really say, you know, we're not leaving until um, four, four of you get off the plane so our, our United employees can make it to Louisville. Yeah, and then there was uh, United uh, sparked more outrage because the CEO sent an email, Oscar Munoz sent this email to employees, and that went viral. The email said, in part, 
While I deeply regret this situation arose, I also emphatically stand behind all of you. And I want to commend you for continuing to go above and beyond to ensure we fly right. I do, however, believe there are lessons we can learn from this experience, and we are taking a closer look at the circumstances surrounding this incident. Tyler, are you going to fly United again? <laughs> Probably not. Um, <laughs> you know, I really, I really feel like they just they didn't value uh, the, their customers very well in, uh, in this situation. They just they place no priority on um, on the people there. I know they overbooked flights, but wow, um, could have right. handled it better. We'll leave it there. Tyler, thank you, Tyler Bridges. We'll